Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq Al Said of Oman on the demise of Sheikh Isa bin Rashid Al Khalifa. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safiya Palace the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence, Dr. Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, where he presented to His Majesty Sumayya Hussein Hassan Al Mir upon the royal order to appoint her Secretary General of the Center. His Majesty congratulated Sumayya Al Mir, wishing her success in carrying out her duties. He also expressed pride in Bahraini cadres and their ability to contribute effectively to the development of the country. His Majesty commended the initiatives and contributions of the center since its establishment. He expressed appreciation of the efforts of the center's chairman and members and affirmed his support to the center. His Majesty noted that the leading civilizational role of the center, which reflects the kingdom's rich history in tolerance, peace and religious freedom. The Secretary General praised His Majesty's support to the Kingdom's gains and to Bahraini women in particular, which paved the way for Bahraini women to assume leading roles in society. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa has received a cable of condolences from Oman's Deputy Prime Minister for the Council of Ministers Fahd bin Mahmoud Al Said on the demise of Sheikh Isa bin Rashid Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from Oman's Deputy Prime Minister for the Councils of Ministers Fahd bin Mahmoud Al Said on the demise of Sheikh Isa bin Rashid Al Khalifa. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, chaired the weekly meeting where he praised His Majesty's early directives to combat the spread of coronavirus and affirmed that the leadership of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince of the national team to combat the virus has offered a sense of relief among all citizens and residents. The council then discussed a report on fishing and the protection of marine life which affirmed its commitment to add Law 2 of 2018 on the registration and safety of small ships. The Council concluded its meeting by reviewing a suggestion to change some of the laws on restructuring and bankruptcy. The Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowment, in cooperation with the Supreme Judicial Council, launched the Information and E-Services System to file commercial lawsuits in cooperation with the Information and E-Government Authority. The service is part of the projects of Judicial Services Digital Transformation provided for citizens and residents, which is a result of the support and follow-up of the Coordination Committee led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa.